Hey everybody, it's Kyle here. Welcome back to another video. Yes, this doesn't look right because I have no power and it is after midnight and this video is supposed to be up in a few hours. Um, so here I am holding a flashlight. Um, <laughs> so I hope you enjoy. Um, but there are no excuses, huh? I post every Tuesday. Can't stop now. But in today's video, I want to talk about the idea of keeping up, having a disability and feeling the need to keep up, not just physically, but also just the timeline of life. Um, and this was brought up um, through recent conversations with my girlfriend um, because we're both walking now or trying to walk. She's farther along than I am in her training. She's doing potentially a 10K or that's what she's aiming for. I'm just trying to build my stamina up currently to hopefully walk a 5K. Um, but she's dealing with some knee pain and it brought up the um, idea of walking too fast. Um, and in that conversation, it got brought up that, you know, we're we walk fast because we have to, or we feel the need to, or at least the both of us, as we talk about it, feel the need to. Um, I know personally, I don't like to slow people down. So I will try and walk as fast as I can to keep up with whoever I'm with. Um, I don't want to be quote unquote an inconvenience. So rather than asking for people to slow down, I will just speed up, um, which isn't really smart um, because by me trying to walk faster, that means I could fall and hurt myself. And then I'm back to square one. So it's not really a good behavior to um, do, but I think it's just been ingrained in me, you know, just, just walk, you know, try to keep up the best that I can. And I know when I have um, traveled, uh, the couple times that I have traveled, the people that have helped me off the plane have been like, you can slow down, like, don't worry, it's okay. And I guess I don't realize that I am walking fast. Because um, to me, that's normal. Like, my normal pace is fast to everyone else because... I'm just so concerned about not slowing people down and with me trying to um, do this 5k potentially and with her having some knee pain um, from walking too fast, I'm really trying to get in the habit of walking slower. So I'm currently walking a half mile in a half an hour um, and that is pretty slow. That is not my typical walking pace. But what I have noticed is I've been doing it most every day. Well, not a half mile. I've been building up. Um, but I've done a half mile the last three days. And I would have done it yesterday, technically, because it's after midnight. But the power was out on the treadmill. Um, but I have noticed that by walking the slower pace, I feel like my body is handling it a lot better than if I was walking at what I consider my normal pace. And I'm just glad that I'm learning um, to slow down because if I was walking at my what I consider my normal pace, I feel like I would be in a lot of pain and, you know, that's not good for my body. Um, you know what they say, it's good to learn through others' mistakes. I just wish I didn't have to, um, learn this lesson, um, at the expense of my girlfriend. Um, but it is a hard lesson. Um, it's just something that I feel like I'm hardwired to do is try to keep up, um, not just physically, but also just in life in general. I'm going to be 26 tomorrow. And I don't feel like I've accomplished like what a typical 26 year old would um, have accomplished by now. Um, I feel like I've accomplished plenty, 
you know, going to college, getting my bachelor's degree, starting this YouTube channel, starting my blog. Um, that's also my disabled experience. I launched designing t-shirts. Um, I even wrote a little children's story that I'm really wanting to have published. Um, so I've done quite a bit. I'm not saying that I have done nothing, but I haven't done the typical um, in my mind. Like, I still don't know how to cook. I do my own laundry now, but I still don't know how to cook. Um, I don't drive. Um, I don't have a job. Um, but with COVID, um, I'm not actively looking because of all the uncertainty. Um, and with being 26, I'm off my parents' insurance, so I'm going on Medicaid. Um, and I always just thought by 26 I'd have a good job with good, in, you know, decent enough insurance. Because, um, you know, that's something that always happens or was always in the back of my mind of like, at 26, I'll be off my parents' insurance, but, you know, I'll be more established. And I'm just not. Um, but I am happy with what I have going right now. They're not um, things I'm getting paid for, um, but they are things that, you know, bring me a lot of joy. So right now, you know, I think I'm okay with doing things that make me happy um, as opposed to things that make money. And hopefully these things can make money at some point, um, but it is all part of the journey. Um, and I'm just learning that my journey is a little bit slower um, than somebody else my age that is temporarily able-bodied. Um, and, you know, I don't, I, I'm in a relationship now, but I feel like a lot of my friends have kids and houses and, you know, that's just not where I'm at. Um, and I feel, you know, relatively okay about that because I have all these things that keep me busy and make me happy. Um, it just made me think, you know, I was so worried about keeping up um, with the typical timeline of having kids, getting married, having a house. Um, and I realized um, that that's just not my timeline. And for anyone else that has a disability that feels the same way, society makes this timeline and it's not realistic always for everyone. There's no cookie cutter way to live your life. So do things that make you happy when you're ready to do them. And that's all you can ask for. That's all I want. And that took me a little while to actually realize, um, I think a little bit longer than I would have liked, but that's why I want to share it with you that it's okay to do things at your own pace and do things that make you happy, even if you aren't making money. Um, you know, if you're still living at home, that's okay. Do what works best for you, not what works best for somebody else. You have to live your life for you and no one else. Um, and it's taken a while, 25 years, but I'm finally doing that. Um, and I know you can too, but I hope you've enjoyed this in the dark video and I will see you next time.